we don't receive Jesus in our hearts because Jesus oh, is still God a physical person the real Jesus is oh, still in his physical God body do you want to know the Spirit of God then this oh, is the Jesus you God must know the one that was here and the one that left Holy Ghost, your God in the, earth today. the Father is in heaven Jesus at his the Holy right Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words today. this is your first time here make sure you subscribe down below so we can keep you informed of new messages as they come out we live in a great age a great dispensation you know people say oh they wanted to live in Jesus time that wouldn't have been nearly as good and you just got Jesus with the Holy Ghost on him mm -hmm. yeah sure you can follow him around you can meet him you can talk to him stuff maybe but we're in the day where we can walk with the Holy Ghost who's God near today now one of the great things and I'm gonna say a few things tonight that are probably gonna irritate people that's not my point that's not my mission here to irritate people it's to say, show you that your old belief system is not gonna make it it's not gonna cut it your old belief system might be based on some religious concept or idea and it's not gonna make it in reality and it doesn't make it with the scriptures and I'm gonna use a lot of them are you here one of the great things about having the Holy Ghost in your heart or in you and on you and around you is that he's the teacher John chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth these are the words of Jesus they're in red that's how I know right away nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient or profitable for you that I Jesus go away now if Jesus said it was profitable for you that if he goes away is that the truth is it profitable or more beneficial for you that if he goes away than if he stayed yeah. yes it's profitable for you that I go away if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you so for this to happen Jesus would have had to depart and send him from wherever he was send him to you and he said this would be profitable for you well verse 12 I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now so we have things that Jesus wanted to teach these people but he couldn't could they could he he was unable to tell them what he wanted to tell them he wasn't the teacher that the Holy Ghost was gonna be I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now verse 13 how be it when he he indicates he's a person when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth meaning he'll teach you he'll guide you and instruct you into all the truth mm -hmm. the truths that Jesus couldn't even get across to him who does this the Holy, when does he do it in this dispensation right one of the benefits of having the Holy Ghost in your heart is that he'll teach you all the truth and does with all the truth include the beginning truths would have to be right a lot of people have the beginning truths wrong what if you have the beginning truths wrong they're gonna have to be corrected aren't they you're gonna have to have someone come along and correct them and that might not be easy or, or comfortable right so I like to say welcome to homeroom where's homeroom in this instance if he's gonna teach you all things right where do you go when you first go to school you go to homeroom you sign in who's the teacher Holy Ghost what's he gonna teach you all things including all the things about Jesus are you here well we're gonna learn some things about Jesus tonight and I'm excited about it so you go to homeroom in order to know him the teacher what's the first thing we see here in the scriptures that say about him coming what's the first thing that Jesus said about the teacher coming he said that he's gonna have to first go away so the first thing you need to know about the Holy Ghost coming and being with you is that Jesus isn't here That's right. are you here yes. 
so if I have the Holy Ghost in my heart that's not receiving Jesus in my heart you understand I've received the Holy Ghost and he's teaching me all things the first thing I hope I, I might have to get this I might have to say this a few more different ways for people to get it in order to know him the Holy Ghost the teacher the first thing Jesus said about knowing the teacher is that he Jesus would have to have gone away does this make sense yes. so if I'm knowing the Holy Ghost now according to that if I know the Holy Ghost where must Jesus of necessity be away mm -hmm. we won't even talk about where he is right now but he's not here because I have the Holy Ghost are you here does this make sense that's number one this is gonna get even better if I haven't irritated most people already what happens is now the Holy Ghost is here and we get a new system of belief and believe me that's a different system of belief than a lot of people have already started out on because now I'm in the earth and the Holy Ghost is in the earth and I'm walking with him as God and he's teaching me all things John 14 verse 16 I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever does your Bible say this yes. does it say he yeah that he the person of the Holy Ghost will abide with you what was the first thing Jesus said about him abiding with you is that Jesus would not be there mm -hmm. I'm gonna send another he goes on even the spirit of truth why does he teach you all the truth because he's the spirit of truth it's part of his name mm -hmm. it is his name so a new belief system he teaches us he guides us he walks with us who the Holy Ghost. when Jesus was here was he teaching them guiding them and walking with them yeah then he's gonna go away he's gonna send another that comes and teaches them and guides them and walks with them another and another that's not Jesus are you here and who is the another he's the spirit of truth he's the comforter the Holy Ghost the spirit of truth this isn't too difficult is it all right but it is a new belief system because this is not where most people are I'm gonna talk about why in a minute but we don't receive Jesus in our hearts we receive the Holy Ghost scripturally do you understand I'm gonna show you tonight that there the scriptures do not say to receive Jesus in your heart in fact the first thing in receiving the Holy Ghost is Jesus has to go away but we are to receive the Holy Ghost in this new belief system that I'm talking about and I realize a lot of people will just flat out reject this because it goes against what they were brought up with in their religious thinking you understand so they can't go here but I'm talking about us I'm talking about our belief system we don't receive Jesus in our hearts well, I don't like the sound of that we don't receive Jesus in our heart according to the scriptures I'm gonna walk you through it we receive the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. now there are things that we do do with Jesus say do do mm -hmm. we do do with Jesus but it's not receive him in our hearts we receive the Holy Ghost you all right if I use scriptures yes. Yes. <laughs> and you better use those scriptures we don't receive Jesus in our hearts we do receive the Holy Ghost we've done ourselves a great disservice by coming up with these sayings or by saying that all you have to do is ask Jesus to come into your heart right we've all I've said it I've said it before we probably all said it before but we do a people a great disservice because it's number one it's dumbing down the gospel mm -hmm. number two it's completely unscriptural nowhere in the Bible wouldn't it don't you think if it was that important to receive Jesus into your heart there would be that word those words somewhere in here it's not found mm -hmm. nor are there scriptures that imply you should receive Jesus into your heart I've been sharing all, already a few scriptures that say no that's not what it should be are you here mm -hmm. 
it's not found in the Bible if it's not found in the Bible it's what we call unscriptural mm -hmm. receiving Jesus into your heart is unscriptural this gets a lot bigger as we go along here anyway so it's dumbing down the gospel it's misdirected and it leads to wrong thinking if I'm going in the wrong direction I'm, I'm my thinking is wrong and if my thinking is wrong my believing is gonna be wrong right my belief system therefore is gonna be wrong mm -hmm. leads to a wrong system of belief you don't receive Jesus in your hand now, I'm gonna share this right here I I ordered this book because I saw the title you go well you you, you know you you can't judge a book by its cover well I did that's how I bought it I bought it because it says it says stop asking Jesus into your heart by JD Greer it's a good book now of course I'm not believe he might not like what I'm saying tonight but I like because he goes on he's going how to know for sure you are saved and if that's if that's where you're trying to go then he does a good job at dealing with that because you don't get saved by asking Jesus into your heart you get saved by repenting and believing that's what the scriptures say mm -hmm. if you want to be assured of your salvation you repent and you believe the gospel that's how you get saved mm -hmm. now again he probably would not agree with many of the things I'm going to be talking about tonight but good book title isn't it yes. I certainly agree with the title you don't receive Jesus in your heart you repent scripturally we're talking about scriptures right there's no receive Jesus in your heart in the scriptures if it was that relevant and that important to your being saved wouldn't it say that somewhere yeah. it doesn't in fact it says the opposite and we'll be talking about that you don't receive Jesus into your heart you repent and believe say repent, repent. and believe that's how you get saved and you do I hope you're still here you do receive the Holy Ghost yes. over and over and over the Bible says that you're supposed to repent and believe and over and over and over it says and you receive the Holy Ghost you don't receive Jesus in your heart you do receive the Holy Ghost we don't receive Jesus in our heart we do receive the Holy Ghost are you here yes. when you do that you're on the right footing your belief system is right and it takes you in the right direction is this any good yet one thing that's great about knowing the Holy Ghost and having him in your heart is that he's the teacher and he'll teach you all things yeah he me just me even saying that so it just irritates some people having the Holy Ghost and receiving the Holy Ghost in my heart mark chapter 1 verse 14 and now after that John was put in prison Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God are you here yes. who's preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God Jesus. Jesus he's pretty much an authority on it isn't he yes verse 15 and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at a hand repent ye and believe the gospel did Jesus say the kingdom of God is at hand repent ye and receive me into your heart that would have been difficult especially at the time right or could he just go into one person's heart no repent ye and believe the gospel say repent, repent. and believe and remember John 3 16 I'll just quote that one you can look it up if you want to for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever whosoever believes on him shall be saved you're not receiving him you're believing on him right but we do receive the Holy Ghost who is a person Acts chapter 16 verse 30 and said sirs what must I do to be saved we're asking Paul here you think Paul knows yes what's Paul say receive the Lord Jesus into your heart and thou shalt be saved is this what he said no he says look at this verse 31 and they said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house believe 
on say believe on. believe on you're believing on the Lord Jesus what are you believing on you're believing on what he did you're believing on the fact that he bore your sins right you believe on him and you repent and then you're saved uh, John chapter 20 verse 21 and then said Jesus unto him remember this is after he's raised from the dead peace be unto you as my father has sent me even so send I you verse 22 and when he had said this he breathed on them and said unto them receive me into your hearts is that what he said no. he breathed on them and said unto them receive ye the Holy Ghost who did Jesus say to receive Holy the Holy Ghost we do receive the Holy Ghost we don't receive Jesus into our hearts are you here now this couldn't have been the same receiving of the Holy Ghost that happened on the day of Pentecost because Jesus was not yet glorified you understand and he wasn't sending the Holy Ghost but what happened here was regeneration they were forgiven and their inner man was born again so here we have Jesus raised from the dead they believed these were the first converts Jesus did not say to receive him into their hearts they believed on Jesus they received the Holy Ghost say they believed on, they believed on. Jesus. Jesus they received, they received. The, Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost who do we believe on Jesus. who do we receive the Holy Ghost. scriptural right okay Acts chapter 8 we have Philip Acts chapter 8 verse 5 and then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached what happens when somebody preaches faith comes they hear the gospel right he preached Christ unto them and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake hearing and seeing the miracles which he did verse 12 but when they believed say believed when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ they were all baptized both men and women what does this make them baptism I gotta understand here baptism is an outward sign of repentance are you here yes. they repented it said they believed they repented and believed what does that make them saved did they receive Jesus in their heart no they repented and believed verse 14 and now when the Apostles were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the Word of God they sent unto them Peter and John verse 15 who when they were come down prayed for them that they might receive say receive receive, receive the Holy Ghost so we have these people they believed on Jesus and they repented then the Apostles went down there that they might receive the Holy Ghost did they receive Jesus no they repented and believed on what Jesus did mm -hmm. then they received the Holy Ghost all right verse 15 who when they were come down prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost for he was yet fallen upon none of them only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and when they laid hands on them they what received the Holy Ghost we don't receive Jesus in our heart we repent and believe we do receive the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today he's the one that Jesus sent is this making sense is this scriptural mm -hmm. am I just making up stuff no I'm trying to correct things brother if you're gonna say things like that shouldn't you use a multitude of scriptures to prove your point yes I agree and I am Acts chapter 19 verse 1 and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus say Ephesus, Ephesus. and finding certain disciples verse 2 he said unto them have you received Jesus into your hearts is that what he said he said have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed now 
why would Paul say that if it wasn't a possibility it is possible that people not have received the Holy Ghost since they believed, or he wouldn't have asked the question he'd probably run into people before we saw the people in Samaria that was their situation they had believed they'd repented they would believed but they hadn't received the Holy Ghost Paul the first words out of his mouth have you received say receive the Holy Ghost since you believe he knew they had believed but they had not received they repented they believed on Jesus then they received the Holy Ghost we don't receive Jesus we receive the Holy Ghost I hope I've used enough script you know I have not used all of the scriptures concerning this there are so many other ones that talk about receiving we receive the Holy Ghost we believe on Jesus but we don't receive him we believe on him and you know why and I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on something right now and hopefully it blows your mind like it blew my mind we don't receive Jesus in our hearts because Jesus is still a physical person the real Jesus is still in his physical body you can't receive physical Jesus in your heart you have to receive a religious conception of Jesus in your heart help me Holy Ghost Woo. Luke chapter 24 um, and this is Jesus appearing to the disciples after he was raised from the dead remember this remember that let's look at verse 36 and as they thus spake Jesus himself stood in the midst of them ha huh? and said unto them peace be unto you are you here do you see it verse 37 but they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen a spirit verse 38 and he said unto them why are you troubled and why do thoughts arise in your hearts verse 39 behold my hands and my feet that it is I myself handle me and see for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have is this in your Bible yes, yes. Jesus appeared to them and he said I am NOT a spirit I'm not a ghost look at my hands and my feet handle them are you here is this the real Jesus this Jesus of your Bible because you've got to make a decision I'm telling you one of the first visions I had as a young kid after getting saved are you here I don't know if you're ready for this or not but I'm gonna share it anyway one of the first visions I had was a vision of two Jesuses say two Jesuses and I knew that one day in the future I was gonna to have to decide which Jesus was the real Jesus and follow him that was the that was a lot of times in a vision you'll know what's going on in the situation that, that you're in you just know it right nobody had to explain that to me I just knew that here were two Jesus I mean they look the same they look the same this guy look that guy, they both look the same right but I knew only one of them was legit only one of them was real and I had I was gonna in the future in the future I was gonna to have to make up my mind and understand which one it is which is the real Jesus remember that there was a TV show where they would ask questions of the people and they'd be on a panel and you'd have to find out which one was the real plumber and you had three different people there and the other ones would stand up and they would try to trick you into deciding which one to tell the truth that's it right remember that <laughs> am I showing my age but anyway you had to decide which one by asking questions and understanding stuff now here here we have the real do you understand according to the scripture who is the real Jesus is the real Jesus a spirit No. not here according to the scriptures the real Jesus and remember when Jesus was standing with them and he went up into heaven I'm gonna take you there in a minute when he went up into that he was literally physical say physical Jesus physical. physical Jesus was standing next to them and he went up into the clouds right who went up into the clouds physical Jesus the real Jesus not imaginary fictional religious Jesus that you ask into your heart wrongly can you receive a physical Jesus into your heart no. can we all receive a physical oh, there's one Jesus mm -hmm. 
and that's one of the great sacrifices and a lot of people would agree with me on this one of the great sacrifices of Jesus was when he came into the earth he committed himself to being in a physical body a singular physical body why would he use this for proof when he came to the disciples and they were concerned whether he's a spirit or not he said hey I'm not a spirit are you here I'm physical Jesus I'm the same Jesus this matters well I don't think it matters it matters if you're gonna go around saying let's receive Jesus into our heart we're not receiving Jesus into our heart are you here one Jesus in that vision was a super spiritual Jesus and a religious Jesus the other one was actual Jesus which one do you want to follow who would you who would you choose to follow the natural physical actual Jesus he didn't turn into something else are you here there's this term called docetism d-o-c-e-t-i-s-m the Gnostics used to, to believe in this and it what it, what they believed was that Jesus in the physical form even when he was here on earth was not was not real he was a phantom we all perceived him as being real the Greek word is actually doken or to seem real they weren't denying that something happened but it just seemed like he was a real person he was an apparition he was a celestial substance now this is the kind of thing you could receive in your heart isn't it this celestial substance this phantom this apparition are you here this was rejected by the forefathers as being heresy because Jesus physically was here he physically bore our sins and sicknesses are you here yes. that same Jesus is the one we're talking about that's the real Jesus Acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he had spoken these things who spoke these things Jesus while they beheld right mm -hmm. he Jesus was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel verse 11 which also said you men of Galilee why stand you gazing up into heaven this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner even as you've seen him go into heaven which Jesus is going to return the same, Jesus. the same Jesus the one that wasn't a spirit the one that was an actual physical person are you here yes. can you now begin to see why we don't receive Jesus into our hearts we believe on what he did this is helping some people we believe on what he did but we do receive the Holy Ghost you go over into Acts chapter 2 the Holy Ghost came right they received him we received the Holy Ghost we received the one Jesus sent Is this making sense now first John now John remember that docetism I was telling you I think that's how we pronounce it that's how I'll pronounce it anyway John was dealing with this in his day people were saying that Jesus was just like a phantom or you know some kind of a, a ghost kind of person that did all of these things they weren't denying that these things didn't happen but he wasn't a physical person right mm -hmm. he was some extra special ghostly celestial spiritual substance first John chapter 4 let's look let's read from verse 1 beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world verse 2 hereby know you the Spirit of God now do you want to know the Spirit of God scripturally say, hold, say scripturally. scripturally do you want to know the Spirit of God I want to know the Spirit of God my whole ministry is based on knowing the Spirit of God I must know the Spirit of God tell me John how am I gonna know the Spirit of God 
hereby know you the Spirit of God every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God the same Jesus that we're talking about came in the flesh he wasn't some spiritual phantom he was actual physical Jesus say actual, actual. Physical, physical Jesus, Jesus same actual physical Jesus went up into heaven is seated at the right hand of the Father same actual physical Jesus sent the Holy Ghost into the earth you can't receive Jesus into your heart you believe what actual physical Jesus did and you receive the Holy Ghost hereby know you the Spirit of God every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God he also has to be the one who left mm -hmm. what did Jesus say was the first thing of you receiving the Holy Ghost that Jesus had to be gone I present to you you can't have receive Jesus into your heart and have the right relationship with the Holy Ghost the only way you're gonna have a right relationship with the Holy Ghost hereby know you the Spirit of God is to know that Jesus came in the flesh and left in the flesh are you here yes. and shall return this same Jesus do you want to know the Spirit of God then this is the Jesus you must know the one that was here and the one that left are you seeing why this is important why well, I took so much time on it because we walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today and if you're gonna know him as God if you know ye the Spirit of God as God in the earth today you have to know that that's the Jesus we're talking about do you want to know the Spirit of God then this is the Jesus you must know most people don't know that Jesus most people know the religious Jesus the conceptual Jesus the ethereal Jesus that they receive in their heart if they know that Jesus they can't know the Spirit of God are you here let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that this message blessed people and that they're able to receive you now Holy Ghost we do believe on all the things that Jesus did and we we receive you Holy Ghost doing those things in us even today and I ask your blessing on these people as they have heard in Jesus name Amen Holy Ghost of God in the earth today Holy Ghost of God